Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to California Fishing Life. And today we are talking about the top five reasons you should go fishing in 2021. So number one, it is a very fun date idea. It's think about it like this. You get to spend time out in the water on a boat and you get to go fishing, right? Whether you catch fish or not, that is just the bonus, right? Fish is just the bonus, but being out in nature, being able to take a nice boat ride during a calm day, it would be the best date idea just because it's pretty romantic out there. Sometimes you get to see dolphins and whales and stuff. So you get like a free fishing slash whale watching combo with it. It's pretty nice. Number two, you get to learn something new. So it doesn't matter what you're taking up, like what kind of fishing you're taking up. You could go saltwater, freshwater. You could go off of a jetty, the pier. You can go ocean fishing. You can go lake fishing. You can go river fishing, spear fishing, fly fishing, and the list goes on. But the point is, no matter what kind of fishing you're going to get into, you are going to learn something. And there is always plenty to learn. So one day here at California Fishing Life, we will do all of that fishing. So stay tuned and make sure you hit that subscribe button just so you know when there's a new video coming out. And also hit that notification bell. So number three, you get to spend time outdoors. So it has been clinically proven that spending time outdoors is great for your body and your mind. Spending time outdoors really allows you to enjoy the scenery and gain a different perspective on the world. So it's pretty awesome being outdoors. You get to meditate. You get to just be by yourself, be away from your phone, and just enjoy nature the way that we were supposed to enjoy it. Just be mindful, though, that when you are out in nature, you're actually in the wildlife's home. So be respectful. Do not ever take more than you need. And whatever you pack in, make sure you pack out. So if you have bags of chips or bottles, glass or plastic, it doesn't matter. Make sure you pack it out and always leave the place better than when you found it. So number four, the reason you should go fishing in 2021 is because of COVID rates, the charters are now offering a lot of room for the prevention of COVID. I mean, they are outside and there's a lot of air circulating. So the chances of you getting COVID are pretty low to begin with, but I'm not a doctor. Make sure that you check with your local and state regulations and only go out when it is safe to do so. But these prices are pretty much unprecedented because now you can just buy a public charter, go out and have the same elbow room that Back in the day, you would have to pay two to three hundred dollars for for a private charter. So if you are new to fishing and you don't want to cross lines with people and you just want a little bit more elbow room in general, it would be a really good time to go out and fish now just because of the social distancing thing. And we have to do that. So we will get a lot more elbow room just naturally. And number five, and I think that this is one of the most important reasons why you should go fishing in 2021, at least learn how to fish in 2021, you get to catch your own dinner. So catching your own dinner is one of the most satisfying things you can do. And when you catch fresh fish, you will know that the fresh fish tastes very different than the fish that you can either buy in stores or in restaurants, even the highest end sushi restaurants. So I live in Los Angeles. So there are a lot of high end sushi restaurants that charge a lot per plate. I'm talking about two, three hundred dollars per plate. And I have had the opportunity to try some of these dishes versus the fish that I catch. And this is just personal, right? The fish that I catch, I feel, are a lot sweeter. They don't have that. They don't have that fishy aftertaste. Even in the highest grade sushi, because they have to freeze it because of FDA guidelines, they can't achieve the same thing as if you were just to catch it, pull it right out of the ocean, and a bunch of people are just slicing it up into sashimi. It's. It is definitely something that you must experience and I can't tell it to you. You know what I mean? Like 
when somebody tells you something versus like you're experiencing it firsthand, it's it's a lot different. So catching your own dinner, you'll be able to do that. And then that eliminates us having to rely on these cargo sized ship vessels with nets and they're just scooping out everything out of the ocean indiscriminately, right? So not only are you catching your own dinner, but you're being more environmentally friendly because now you're just catching it and now you're eating it and it turns out to be cheaper anyway than if you were to buy it in a store or a high-end restaurant so let's go ahead and recap those top five reasons you should go fishing in 2021 so number one it's a fun date idea number two you get to learn something new number three you get to spend time outdoors and number four you get that elbow room on that boat with those public charter rates at very low prices. And number five, you get to catch your own dinner. So I hope these five reasons convince you to go fishing in 2021. But if it doesn't, and if I miss something, please throw them down in the comments below. I would love to read them. What's one reason you love to go fishing? Or what is one reason you would like to go fishing in 2021? Anyway, I hope you have the great rest of your day. Thank you so much for tuning in. And this is the first bluefin tuna I have ever caught in my life. So got it on the action camera. So that was pretty dope. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy this episode as much as I did making it. There is going to be really, really cool content coming up soon for California Fishing Life. I know I have mentioned this so many times, but it's because I'm really excited that we are going to get really, really awesome videos that will be coming out. So there'll be more slow-mo videos. There'll be more 4K videos. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have not subscribed already because this journey is just beginning and where we end up, I don't know, but it's going to be an amazing journey. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And until I see you all again in the next episode, stay bent.